Can you imagine us in Disneyland? Is that where you want to go? <laughs> Good morning. We have been out here for a little while dealing with all the dirt and the hardware cloth, which you've already seen, which we don't want to show you anymore. So anyway, we got all the hardware cloth done. We got everything backfilled, and now we are trimming the vapor barrier so that we can roll it and staple it down so that we can install the door, and then we can lay the fifth bag. So many steps. I see you talking over there, there, trying not to stare, but you like what you see. Walking on the A, yeah, it ain't even fair, so on top of the B. Better listen up, we about to make it happen. So hot, we burn it up. We just can't get enough. Get down now, have some fun, cause we about to make it, we about to make it happen. While we got that last, no, next to last door installed on the hallway that goes to the courtyard. So we need to go, I'm, I'm going to go to the hardware store. We need more nails, shims, and those staples to hold down the vapor barrier. So I'm going to go do that. Jonathan's making lunch. So we're all working together to make it happen. Let's go. Maybe lunch will be ready by the time I get back. Also, so disgusting. Okay, so before we can do this side, you can see our vapor barrier is still all over the place. So we have to roll it down, staple it all the way around here before we can lay that last bag. Now, if you're thinking that we look a little sluggish today, it's because we are. Our air conditioner actually died in our Airstream about four days ago, and it's so hot. Everybody's miserable. So, yeah, we're dealing with a lot of things at the moment, <laughs> but we just still have to get this inner courtyard wall done because rain is coming pretty soon, it looks like. So, we just got power through. After a long day of working on the house, there's nothing better than getting a shower outside and sleeping on a comfortable mattress. We'd like to thank today's video sponsor, Birch Living. Birch makes a fiberglass free mattress crafted with organic cotton, organic wool, and 100% natural latex that has been responsibly sourced. Their mattresses are also free from polyurethane foams, which can cause harmful off-gassing. It was very easy to buy the mattress online, and it was shipped right to our door. The box is heavy, so you may need another person to help, but the setup is so easy. Just cut the plastic and the bed unrolls, and you wait an hour or two for it to fully expand. 
So many mattresses these days are made with polyurethane foam or cheap materials that are harmful to breathe, but not birch living mattresses. If you've been following our channel for a while, you'll know that we're big on natural materials. Yes, case in point, the room that we're in. Is made of mud. And dirt. Yeah. So, and recycled materials. We have the bottle yeah. bricks, guys, everything that we build, we want to think about the impact on the environment and just trying to be as natural as possible. Yep, and when we finished this solar shed, the one thing that we could not make natural was the mattress because we had bought all the things and so we just went and got the cheapest mattress we could find. Yeah, <laughs> and it's something that's super important to us too, just knowing that what we're sleeping on isn't off-gassing harmful chemicals and that's why we love this Birch mattress. Yeah, the mattress now fits the room. Yes, thank you Birch. With your Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial and a 25 year warranty. And the best part is they ship it right to your door for free in the United States. We love our Birch mattress and we think you will too. Early access to their Labor Day sale is live now. So visit birchliving.com slash tiny shiny home to get 20% off your mattress and two free pillows. So I'm here in the garden and we are about to pull out all of our tomato plants because they're just not producing anymore. Plus we've had an infestation with these guys. So all the tomato plants are going. But I wanted to show you how productive it's been this year. Mildly productive. In this bed we were given a moringa tree and some seeds and I successfully planted one. These guys have destroyed everything. The zucchini looks good, but it's not producing too much. They're all really tiny, skinny ones, but that's okay. More tomato plants that are coming out. A lot of peppers that uh, did really well here. They're a hot variety. I don't remember what they're called. Rosemary. This is the first time I haven't killed rosemary. We have it in several beds. And watermelon. I need to support this guy because he's getting heavy. We used our Hyper Adobe Earth Bags to support this guy. So I'm excited about melons this year. I've never really grown any melons, but I'm excited about it because they've done really well and they trellis up over this cattle panel and create more shade for the other plants. So I'm really happy with how it's turned out this year so far. In this bed, we do not know where this tobacco plant came from, but it has these beautiful yellow flowers. So we just let it grow. <laughs> it's enormous. I have no idea. We didn't plant it, so I don't know where it came from. Probably a bird. But then we have cucumbers here. Uh, these are a really tasty variety. Oh gosh, I need to cut that guy. But this is just mostly cucumbers here and the tobacco plant. And then we had two plants here, summer squash. One didn't make it quite so we pulled it early. And then we've got these, we've got this variety of a melon. It tastes like a cantaloupe. Let me see if I can find one that's ripe. This one's overly ripe. We have a lady here in town that grew a bunch of seeds and that's where I got most of our plant starts this year just cause I didn't have time to start them. But I'm really happy with how the garden turned out this year. We have two cattle panels over each bed with shade cloth and that helped so much. So I'm excited about what next year will bring. I think we'll even have a better harvest next year. One more thing I almost forgot. We do have a water tank up here now. So we've put it in between these two beds we just repurposed this tank from where it used to be at the goat barn, but now that we have a water tank there and water catchment, we don't need it. So this has been really great. So next year, my plan is to somehow rig this up to where I have drip irrigation with those thirsty earth Oya pots. So next year, I'm really looking forward to putting those back in use. But this has been really great having up near the plants. 
One more thing, I almost forgot. We also have planted some star jasmine here on this X bracing. So my thought is I'm gonna train it up this cross bracing here and maybe it'll look nice in about three years. We'll see. Good morning, friends. We are out at the house pad today and we're doing an impromptu barn raisers. This is the group that uh, kind of meets out here on a regular basis. We help each other out with projects. So today we are hosting, we're gonna try to get as much of the backfilling done around these trenches as we can. Hopefully lots of hands will make this go quick. Back out of the house pad. Today is an exciting day. We're putting in the last door frame, door form, not frame, form. So we are working on this outside wall. It's gonna go about where they are. Um, so we're trimming our extra vapor barrier. We're gonna do the thing where we roll it up and we staple it in uh, and then we'll set the door and then we'll lay up to the south side. And then we're gonna go a little bit on the north side, probably about to that trash can. Have some weather coming in, so I don't think we're gonna be able to do this whole run or get enough to get it locked into place. So that's the goal for today. You left me lonely in Louisiana with thunder in my head. A couple torn up cigarettes on a table with a broken edge. I loved you then and I love you now forever. You're my kin. But every time we fight, I feel like a bird in a jet engine. Give it to my baby. Wait, hold on. A bird in a jet engine? Where are we even finding these songs? Listen, we gotta get to work. Let's go. Don't fail me now. Escape this house of sin. Let's work it out. We could drop it up. Like okay, we had a little side quest. <laughs> we had to make sure our vapor barrier and our hardware cloth was high enough up, uh, at least all the way to where we're gonna lay back today. So we had to backfill a bunch. Anyway, now we're going to find the middle of this door, which by the way, some people were a little confused about. The reason it's in two pieces is because it's gonna be an open archway. There's not gonna be an actual door on it. You build it up like that so that you can take out the arch when you've laid the self-supporting bags over it. You can take it out later, um, but that's why it's kind of a different size and different shape and everything. So anyway, we're gonna find the middle of this because it's gonna go straight across here to the outside, get this door set, and then we'll keep going. Last door frame is in. Adelaide says it's time to celebrate, but I said it's not until the fifth course is done. But she said two celebrations. Why not both? Okay. What are we gonna do? Ice cream. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. Wah>, wah. <laughs> I got ice cream. It's already done. Easy. Okay. Celebration that complete. It doesn't feel like it. Counts. It just feels like a. Just feels like a normal, a normal Tuesday day. Tuesday yeah. night. Okay, what if I told you I'm gonna go get the ice cream and bring it back? Will then it be special? No. Yeah, but we already have the ice cream, so... You're cheating the system. Yeah. Maybe I just misspoke, and maybe I, we don't have the ice cream yet. Well, I'm with ice. I, I saw it. <laughs> it's true, you were Everybody at the saw it, guys. Everybody saw it. <sighs> Fine, we'll figure out another celebration. Any ideas? We have a movie night. <laughs> movie night! Movie night! Movie night with the ice cream. There you go.
because you're doing it subconsciously because we're the long neckers. That could be your trademark for all your characters is they have long necks. I don't know. I don't like the way That was a genius branding idea. You can thank me later. That's Jake Dickerson of your royalties. It's an accident. It is not. You're a huge illustrator. You just locked in the last door frame on our house. How does it feel? Well, not yet. Yeah. Half of it. We just locked in half of our last door frame. It doesn't sound as impressive when you say half Can, of it. I'm so tired. Can we knock this last part out and be done? You know what I hear? A whole lot of complaining. You were supposed to say, I was going to say, babe, what are you going to do now that you've got your last door in? And you were going to say, I'm going to take you all to Disneyland. <laughs> Can you imagine us in Disneyland? Is that where you want to go? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Other than the heat, I think the worst part of a work day is just the whole cleanup afterwards because we don't feel like doing it. But if we don't do it, we regret it. So we have to do it. It's just annoying. But we had a very productive day. And now it's time to get the dogs out and get the wiggles out and relax for the rest of the night. Sounds like Jonathan and the kids are going to be watching a movie. I don't really watch movies because we don't have room and I don't enjoy movies. But... Um, yeah, we'll have a chill night too, just by myself. Right, babe? Thank you.